Hello, hello out there in the wasteland, and welcome to session four of Motley Heights. If you're new here, hello, I'm ELH the Game Master, and joining me are several amazing role players, but we'll get to them in a moment. First, uh, as you may or may not know, I have a few things to say before we get started. The first is, uh, we are using the Fallout 2D20 system from Odivius Entertainment. It's honestly really nice, we're having a lot of fun with it, and if you've ever played a 2D20 from Odivius, real easy to pick up, so definitely would recommend. The other thing I would say is that Fallout is, by its very nature, a series that deals with a lot of difficult and dark subjects. We're going to stay Twitch safe, but this is sort of your warning that viewer discretion is advised. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, in terms of uh, Wild Wasteland and all that stuff, it doesn't look like we have any to start with quite yet. So I say let's just cut to the chase and have everyone introduce themselves, starting with Mr. Wolf. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dare Wolf, Dare Wolf Gaming 88 on Twitter and Twitch, and I'm playing Sergeant Nicholas T, Brotherhood of Steel. You're right. muted, Aaron, as is tradition. I'm the dag now. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm I'm Aaron. Uh, I'm playing Draxus, the intelligent deathclaw, or Draxus, the intelligent deathclaw, if you if you'd rather. Um, looking forward to uh, a great game. I'm also in the Congo games on Tuesday, so check that out. Okay. Are you are you done? Now I'm done. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a John Cage piece of music. It's like you're never quite sure when it's over. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Professor Hex. Uh, I play uh, Dr. Kaz Worm. Uh, bones, if you could see his bones, as I like to say. Um, and um, I'm sorry that I keep appearing. So we'll, I'm going <laughs> to talk to ELH and we'll do something about that. Oh, I love it. All right, well. Let's go ahead and get started. So today in the Wasteland, it's actually been fairly benign, all things considered. Now, of course, you did have to deal with a small outbreak of uh, rad scorpions, just tiny ones, not like big rad scorpions, but you had to deal with a few small ones that had kind of creeped in from the West. And right now, all of you are sort of just lounging around in Motley Heights to the eastern coast of the Commonwealth. And as you are sort of relaxing, enjoying the sea breeze, enjoying the beautiful blue skies above, it's one of those things where you sort of look at one another and realize the last 30 minutes, if you were having a conversation, you don't remember it at all. But you feel like you should have been talking just now. And I think that's where we're going to drop things in. So go ahead and take it away. Um, all right. So what was I saying? So maybe it's this Nuka-Cola quantum, but I do not for the life of me. Wait, what is it? Yeah, I don't know what we were talking about. Glug, 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 glug. Uh, you got anything? I mean, last thing I remember was talking about how I always really wondered what bark was made out of. But that was like an hour ago, I think. Did, did, didn't we decide... Doc, help me out here. Did, didn't we decide it was made of trees? Huh? Right, you're useless. All right, so... Well, um, I, I, yeah, I'm feeling a little fuzzy right now. I, that's to be expected. Your diet is not exactly... Uh, Nutrition is recommended, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, hey now, Nuka Cola Quantum, as well as a healthy diet of sugar pops, is completely fine. I think you'll find that it's actually the exact opposite. Uh, it's not fine, and it's all coalescing in sort of a multicolored marsh in your stomach that will eventually become tumorous. Now oh. you say eventually, so it's not tumorous yet, right? So I'm okay. If that's what you're taking away from it, yeah, you're fine for now. Success. I need um, right. Doc, can you operate on somebody that's got a like a stomach tumor? Can you get it out and 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, no sidebar. Problem. Sidebar. Can you save it for me? <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, it's not going to be as fresh. Obviously, I mean, the ideal thing is just to shove that bad boy in your mouth as soon I mean, as it's out. But no, no. So you don't. That's the. That's the no. Because it's like you know. You remember? Have you ever had like a cheesy puff? Like a like a. You know, they come in bags or orange. They look like little. Have fingers. I ever have I ever had a cheesy puff? Don't yeah. I have taste buds? Yeah, of course I've had one. Right. So you know how they're always better if you take them out of the bag and just sort of leave them exposed to the elements for about twenty four hours. Yeah. Like they sort of become like spongy and just. That's not my uh, preferred way of enjoying them, but, uh, you know, I don't want to yuck your yum there. Well, you know, I, I appreciate that, but, you know, just it's that's how I like my tumors. Like maybe 24 hours old, just a little, little chewier, you know, not so fresh. Like a little, little can't, fermentation on them or something like that. This can't be what we were talking about. I think it might be. I mean, I, I, I feel like I remember talking about this, like fermenting tumors, right? Era, it's right it? about then that I think Angela kind of walks into the small building uh, that you're kind of using as a lounge area. She kind of looks at each of you in turn, Nicola T, Draxus, Dr. Worm, and she kind of narrows her eyes and goes, okay, um, based on the conversation I just overheard, what I just, hold on. And she kind of looks over her shoulder. Any of you feel like we're being watched? Constantly, uh, you're yeah, looking right at me. I think there's at least 19 different people watching us right now. I mean, hmm. yeah, that feels like like it feels like there's a video camera on all of us. There's like four boxes, and we're all being viewed simultaneously, like through some sort of web. I don't know. Is the internet a thing? Did I did I make that up? Were we talking about the internet or something? Really Doctor Worm, I think he's finally lost it. We might have to operate. Hey, you just point, and I'll put the scalpel there. It doesn't matter where, I, why, how, how fast. Well, anyways, strange feelings aside, um, it's quite clear, again, based on that conversation, that we need to figure out the cooking situation. We can't just live off of preserved goods and Nuka-Cola. As awesome as that would be, it's not sustainable in the long run. We need a chef, and we need it badly. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I'm, I, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you, Draxus, are you volunteering? Absolutely. I love to cook. He's actually really good at it. And Angela just sort of stares at you with her mouth open and goes, I'm sorry, what? A, a death clock. Am I the one taking crazy pills here? I, when did a I death claw learn to cook? I don't describing you any crazy pills. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. You don't learn cook. It's something you're born with. No, no I'm, I'm pretty sure that you have to... Okay, you know what? I, I'm considering tabling this. I, I'm just going to put this out there. I'm considering tabling this. Oh, now, now when there's something that you don't have an answer for, you're all Mrs. Table it sort of thing. Whenever we want to table it, it's like, oh, there's not enough room on the table anymore. Do you sound like disappointing you? I, hold on. And she looks over her shoulder again. And this time, all three of you see something coming in the distance. Looks to be a humanoid figure. And this is the Wild Wasteland, by the way, for Grey Matter. You're seeing what appears to be uh, a woman, maybe about 5'8", five, 5'10". Five, uh, she is wearing something that doesn't really make sense. And by that, I mean uh, she is wearing a white chef's outfit that has been, quote unquote, tastefully torn to reveal her abdomen and show off some leg. Her lipstick is sort of a ruby red. She's got some dark eyeliner on. Lord knows where she got the makeup. And she has a poofy white hat atop her jet black shoulder length layered hair. She, you can see on her belt that there's a 10 millimeter pistol and a meat cleaver as well. Now, I'm just going to throw this out there. You probably think that she's a chef just based on the whole getup, but the wasteland has been a 
very strange place, all things considered. But what I will say, and give it to you for free, that if she's wearing an outfit like that, she either knows how to work her stuff, if you know what I mean, or she just doesn't have fashion sense, one of the two. I'm going to lean into Draxus and be like, I bet you she bats for the rat team. All right, I got this. I'm going to walk out looking all snazzy in my duds. Hello there, ma'am. Sergeant Nicola T, Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, what brings you to our neck of the woods? And the woman comes to a stop a respectable distance away, not in a, oh, I'm close enough to shoot you manner, but enough to overhear one another. And she says, ah, well, hello and greetings. I understand that you are people who get things done, and I wish to hire you. My name is Gwendolyn Samray, and I am the finest chef in all of the Commonwealth. And I want your help specifically in creating a piece de resistance that hasn't been seen since the Great War. All right, first off, who the fuck told you about us? Second of all, that sounds awesome. Well, I mean, and she points at Draxus, it's kind of hard to miss that big guy walking around. Right. Okay, that's fair. Um, so, so, uh, all right, just give me one moment. I'm going to walk back into the building. Yeah, she wants us to help her create uh, a food. I, I don't know. Uh, she's, I, I like her. I trust her. She looks nice. Um, all right. You so, always say that. Right. So this is my issue. Um, the last time that people didn't run from me, it kind of ended with a thermonuclear explosion. But, but we were fine. It was exciting, right? We learned a lot about ourselves, each other. Which time are we talking about? Yeah. Oh, the blue, the the um, under the water where I didn't want to go that we went. That doesn't ring a bell. I wish I wish I had your gifts. Are you? (laughs) I'm just fucking with you. Jackson, focus on me. He's he's having he's having a ghoul moment. I mean, this isn't this isn't the time for a philosophical debate. It might be. I mean, who who are you? I mean, I'm Doctor Kaz Worm, uh, the best surgeon. Period. <laughs> I mean, no argument here. All right. Now, who the fuck are you? Oh, I'm uh, Draxus, the uh, the uh, Death Claw. It was a rhetorical question, you fucking idiot. And I think Angela, who's still in the building, actually cracks a smile at that and says, well, if we're done playing who the fuck are you, we should probably... Hey, 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 who the fuck are you? Huh? Who are you? Who? 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 Apparently to some people, I'm just second rate to new women with big bahonkadonks. I mean, I I see where you're looking, Nicola T. Hey, what? You you have rejected all of my advances constantly. You know what? A man after so long is just going to give up, Okay. Okay, I tried negging. I tried being nice. Nothing works with you. I'm going to go hey. check out the hot ship. Okay. Now, wait a and second. I'll walk off and go talk to her. <laughs> Look, we need to focus on the bright side here. You're finally using the right terminology. He's gone. He's walked away. <laughs> so, Nicola T, you come right back up to yeah. uh, the uh, woman, the chef that has just introduced herself again as. Uh, Gwendolyn Samsray, and she kind of tilts her head to the side and says, I didn't quite catch all of that, but uh, I take it you're interested? Yeah, absolutely. Very interested. I mean, you were at least a 10, maybe all the way up to an 11. I don't even know. But like, let's let's do some cooking. And because she is very much a Black Widow style character, I think she actually hams it up a little bit. Like maybe does that cute little flirty thing where she puts her hand on her chest and kind of giggles and goes, oh, you are such a treat. I bet the ladies are all she over you. Completely consumed and will die. Oh, her. It's gone. She's, she's yeah. Okay. She's bad because the ladies don't talk nice to Nikki. Of she's course. got, I mean, that's, yeah, that's dead giveaway. Number one. Jesus, you could hang a coat on that thing. Wow. And he's not even he's not even turning around. He's just that's just out there for everybody to see. What what is? I'll uh, I'll tell you when you're older, Drexus. Okay. And as we 
We go back to Nicola T. Sam's Ray steps just a little bit closer uh, and lowers her voice a little bit and says, Well, as much as I would love to stay here and flirt all day, yeah, yeah. Me too. I do need your assistance. Specifically, I'm interested in creating what is known as a pizza. I don't know what that is, but it well, sounds beautiful. Like you. There's no, there are no peats here. I'm sorry, my colleagues are complete fucking idiots. You might want to be talking to me, the adult in the group. And I I'm think a she, doctor. I think she does giggle again in terms to you, Dr. Orman, says, well, I know of you, doctor. I, I must confess, I don't remember your name, but I know you as a doctor, which should say something. But yes, I do you know my, what a pizza is? My reputation precedes me. Uh, yeah, I know what a fucking pizza is. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Then you must know that since the, well, since the bombs dropped, there hasn't been a pizza in centuries. Oh, there's been plenty of pizza, but it's all been, uh, you know, it's like rad roach carcasses and uh, shitty dough. And yeah, it's just, uh, you wouldn't call that pizza. I'm glad we share a similar mindset. I will cut to the chase. I am willing not only to share the recipe for this pizza with you all, but I am willing to offer a generous reward as well. Let's say 50 caps for each of you. That sounds amazing. Uh, 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 make it 75. Roll me a charisma and barter difficulty of two. Okay. Do it, Dr. Worm. Get us that money. Charisma and barter. All right, unfortunately, no successes. So, I don't know. Do you want to lock it? No. <laughs> so, my character is arguably really well statted for, um, like, debating and, like, bartering. But not in this head, situation. He's head over heels right now. He is yeah. I figured, I, I figured Nicola will shove us into a uh, less than ideal, like, clause anyway. So, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> Let's just move on. All right. So I think she hears your offer of 75 and just sort of shakes her head and says, now, now, I know I am hiring competent people, but 75 is a little bit out of my price range. All right. I'll do it for 50. Uh, uh, no, hey, no. Hey, hey, hey no, let hey, me finish. No, let me finish. Uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm negotiating for me. No, not for you, you. Are... I'm negotiating for me. I'll do it. I'll do it for 25. And I get your hat. She kind of looks up at her hat. Deal. Yes. That's going to look real nice on you, Grexis, by the way. It's a real, real nice thing. Yeah. Just, well, just for a be... size comparison real quick. Um, <laughs> That hat on Draxus would be like a like tiny little like top hat, like the Monopoly Man top hat, where it's just that tiny little thing, or like a Doug Dimmodome type hat. It is comically small on Draxus. Doug Dimmodome, where it's like nineteen feet tall. Oh yeah, well it's not nineteen feet tall, but it's the same kind of and idea. We are talking about Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome, right? That's right, Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dumsdale Dimmodome. <laughs> Doug Dimmodome, the owner of the uh, Dimsdale Dimmodome. Oh, that's but, right. That's, God, I don't. I want to do the whole bit, but we can't. I don't have the. I, <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, okay. If you can't do seventy-five, can we do sixty-nine? God, I hope so. <laughs> I tell you what, I was gonna make this a difficulty three, but but since she is a Black Widow and she's kind of into that sort of thing, why don't we have you do a? Let's do a charisma and a speech. Difficulty of two. That's better. Charisma and speech. Still not a high value, but let's find it. Hey, and, and a complication. You, you get a complication. Nice. Do you wish to luck that? No. Okay. <laughs> so I think she laughs and says, um, no offense, honey, but um, I don't really do the whole ghoul thing. Oh, no, that's not what I was suggesting. My dick rotted off like 30 years ago. Don't worry about that. And she kind of chuckles herself and says, 
Well, unfortunately, I must say that the price is rather firm at this point. It's not the only thing. Hey. Oh, Nikki, a what? little bit of decorum for our guest. What? I'm talking about the the mission. Is if yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's show some decorum, horn dog and bunion eater. What? I, Wait, you didn't. Wait. That's you didn't need to tell her that she didn't have that uh, it's information. Pu- it's that's public a- knowledge. Nobody said that it wasn't. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take my hat and go outside. <laughs> that's right. Walk away. Yeah. So, uh, ma'am, miss. I'm tabling it. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Um. Yes, ma'am. So, what? Where do we? What do we need? How do we do this? Um. Well, do you have a piece of paper or a pip boy or something to write all this down? No, I do not. Iron trap right here. Just tell me. So I can, of course, type this out, but she's going to go over the following. Um, and I'm doing this out of character because I want to make sure it's 100% clear what you need. So the first thing that you need is dough. And to make dough, you're going to need yeast, razor grain, oil, salt, and sugar. Now, really, the only sort of delineating factor there is the razor grain. Everything else counts as common materials, meaning that if you were to, say, find a trader or a merchant, they would only cast a a cost a cap each and would be very easy to acquire. Um, The razor grain... Oops, sorry, go ahead. Counterpoint, five pounds of gum and some beige food coloring. I mean, if you really wanted to go that route, but considering she's Iron Chef, I don't, I don't know if she's going to go for that route. Uh, but uh, where was it? Yes. So the razor grain is a little bit different in that it costs five, ca- five caps total. And in order to make the dough, you will need three of each material. So three razor grain, three yeast, three oil, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The total cost on that before any markup is 27 caps. So if you want to buy all that, 27 caps. You can, of course, go scavenging for it and hope that you're lucky, but I just want to lay it out there. The second thing you're going to need is tomatoes. And this I'll do a little bit in character. So as Sam's Ray is going on about tomatoes, she goes on to say, well, as you may or may not know, we have potatoes, god-awful vegetable, fruit, whatever the hell you want to call it. Anyone with working taste buds, uh, nobody wants potatoes. Everybody hates it. I have not met a single person that has been able to make a potato in any way, shape, or form palatable. But what that means is we're going to have to find an actual tomato. Roma, big, juicy, whatever. We need tomatoes. And unfortunately, the only place I know where to get them is Appalachia. So I hope you all have connections with somebody who's been there or trades there. Back out of character. Each tomato costs five caps and you need three of those. So a total of 15 caps. And then hopping back in character again, Sam's Ray says, now the hardest ingredient to find is going to be the cheese mostly because any cheese that has survived this long is so hard and well frankly unusable as a pizza topping that we can't just rely on well old stuff that which sounds means like quitter talk no trust me i i've done a lot of experimenting when it comes to cooking and how to make ingredients work we're going to need the fresh stuff for this and Maybe, but I'm a doctor, so let's think about that as well. Well, doctor, do you know where we can get some cheese? Yes, I do. Well, enlighten us. Where did Draxus go? I swear to God, there's some in between his toes. I'm going to pretend you didn't... <sighs> Look, anyway... you weren't specific about the cheese. Maybe I should have come to someone else. I'm I'm starting to question many things. I'm gonna lean back towards the both of them. Don't fucking ruin this for me. All right, I got a shot here. Excuse no, me, you, ma'am. No, you Disregard don't. the rude doctor and please continue. You definitely don't. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, we're going to need fresh cheese, 
And I can only think of two possible locations for cheese of that stature. One, you go to Vault 98 to the west and hope that they feel like trading with you. Or we find a mythical Garden of Eden that was created in the wasteland somewhere. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm thinking of those two choices. Vault 98's probably the easier one. I mean, do you know of anybody who has a Gek? No, yes. I can't say that I... Oh, okay, uh, Doctor, at the risk of another poor joke, you, you actually know someone with oh, a Gek? Oh, no, I was I was just saying that if we could find a Gek, that would be easy. I mean, that's it's got cheese right in the name. Hmm. I don't think that's what the C stands for, but that's neither here nor there. So okay, the th uh, who's a doctor? Just let's think Do about that again for a second. Anyways, <laughs> so those are the three items. We need dough, we need tomatoes, we need cheese. However, there's also the true killing element to this pizza. I'm sure you all know, surviving out here in the wasteland, but Meyer Lurk meat, it's a delicacy. There's a high demand, high profit to be made. In general, tastes really good on pretty much anything. Well, if you are able to get soft shell Merloc or Merloc meat, I think that would make for a really good topping, a sort of pepperoni, if you will. But, and I'm just going to throw this out there, if you somehow manage to kill a queen Mer Merloc, or Merlurk, I always say it wrong. Um, if you are able to slay a queen, that would truly be the best ingredient possible. Uh, Deathclaw. I I mean, are you volunteering to become meat? I, I'm not sure what you're implying. Ghoul. Okay, cool. No, I mean, the Queen Merlurks are nothing. Just put me in the right direction. I thought we were all going around and saying a species. No, I'm no, I'm 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 pointing out myself as a deathclaw. I mean, let's be real. Okay, I'll drop the pretense yeah. for just a yeah. second. I I know that. This is what it's like to talk to you. Huh? It's it's infuriating. You're right. It is. But you know That's, what the difference? You know, the, you do know we what remember the, the Pennsylvania incident? Yeah, but do you know what the difference is, Doc Worm? You can't eviscerate me. When you're asleep, I can. Oh, no, Damn it. He's got me there. Think, Life finds a way. That's true. I mean, you need a lot. You need a lot. Oh, of no, don't, 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 don't challenge him like that. He, this dude scares me. Don't I mean, underestimate I'm, me. I'm kind of curious at this point. I, I mean, never, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I talk back. I know, exactly, I know exactly the size of spoon I need to dig your Adam's apple out. I mean, um, I'm, I'll, I was, French I was, tablespoon. I was just saying that I will kill the queen. Specifically used for soup. Oh, but why that soup? is, that is both specific and terrifying at the same time. Manufactured in the 1940s before they had a surplus of steel. Anyway, sorry. What were you saying? So Vault 98, I think we should probably start there. I mean, they might have a traitor, right? Um, we could... Why do I feel like I'm the only smart one here today? That hurts my head a lot. Um, yeah, so... Which one? What? <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. That's uh, a good so, one. This guy, uh, this we guy gets probably it. probably go to Vault 98 first. They might have a traitor there, and then we can come back, help the lady make the pizza, and then I can make a pizza if you get my drift. All right, let's go. Nope, metaphor doesn't fly, but okay. And as you start to get ready to go, I think Angela sort of walks out next to you all and says, I guess I'll stay with the chef here. Um, yeah, you didn't really do a whole lot in the last fight. You weren't really helpful at all, so. Not at all. Well, I mean, to I be fair, I was it. making sure we had an exit the entire time. 
So standing by the exit, just waiting for us to do all the heavy lifting. All yeah. Right. yeah. You do. Did, did, did you not see me literally shoot like five different people to keep them from rushing the exit and barricading no. it? No, nope. that never happened. Sounds like you're making that up. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna table that. I I'm not gonna not gonna. You know what? I'm just. Uh, how this, big uh, is this? How big is this fucking yeah, table? How big is the fucking table, Angela? Yeah, you, you you get you got a big secret table somewhere you've been hiding from us. Seems like something you do. Fucking and no, I think Sam's I, Ray actually giggles again. Goes, actually, we are gonna need quite a large table. Um, the pizza I plan to create is going to be quite large. Um. Okay. And when you make it, can we have some? Well, of course, I'm happy to share many slices with you. Oh, it sounds fantastic. I'm in. I mean, you guys are in. We're in. Hundred fifty percent. Let's awesome. let's get this done. I've been you, I've been wanting it. You already took the hat. That's legally binding. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I we we all knew that I was going to do this. Yeah. Shake and bake, baby. Like, like we're gonna bake the pizza. Yeah. I'm full of them today, and he walks off. All right. So, uh, as the two ladies uh, sort of go to talk and figure out what they're gonna do about the table and the cooking implement, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, we now enter into a little more of a mechanical versus narrative situation. So, between where you are and where Vault 98 is, there are three opportunities to scavenge, potentially more. So, what I would like is whomever feels lucky, I would like you to roll me three combat dice, please. And if you roll an effect, it will add onto the loot table that I will present you. Okay, so, that means that your rewards are going to be one rarity better. So, what I need now is I need whoever feels the most skilled at perception and survival to roll me a difficulty of one task here. Okay. And this is going to represent you I'm all scavenging that. diners, uh, residential areas, homes, on the way between Motley Heights and where Vault 98 is. If I may. Yes. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. You may have one AP for that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> How is a death claw supposed to have frosted tips? Well, um, <laughs> you see those horns. So you just you just chop them like a like a pool cue. All right, point point taken. It's fire. I've been working on it. So survival's a tag skill for me. So keep right. that in mind. All right, one success and one. Uh, well, let me check. Is that a crit? Uh, no, it's a seven and a nineteen, so no crit. I want to re-roll one of those d twenties. All right, spending luck to do so. Hopefully no, I just not want a... to. Just give it to me. Hopefully not let me a have twenty. It. No, just let me have it. No. <laughs> yeah, play, uh... play, play, play role-playing games. Really, go to your, you know, your widest imagination. Yeah, right? I just feel like have I a good like time to... with your. We're falling back into that thing where you tell us what to do, ELH. I mean, you know, Doc, Doctor talked about that last time. I mean, I don't. Yeah, yeah, we know. I mean, I it get wasn't that long ago. About. Yeah, it's like literally seven last days. week. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, it's a sixteen and not enough. So I with know, the one, looks like a four to me. <laughs> I wish. I I'm it. imagining it's a. Okay, so picture this: you're in the chat, and the number is actually a four. See, I'm doing what you're doing. Yeah, use your, the... use, your, use your imagination. Just... Yeah, just... <laughs> there you go. That's right there. Yeah, there's a four right there. Uh, we take ourselves seriously here, as everybody can tell. <laughs> anyway. So, Dr. Worm, I'm going to give you an option here uh, in terms of looting, because it is one rarity better. You have the following three options. You can... Simply roll standard, which means that you're going to get one item of clothing, two items of food, a beverage, yep. and two junk. So potentially other food items, but basically junk. That's option one. Option two 
is that you actually are going to roll six times on the food chart. And the food chart's actually a little bit different than the normal chart because you're looking for some ingredients in particular. The third option is that instead of all of that, you simply go for a cap reward. So which of those three would you prefer to do? Well, that depends on how close the nearest uh, market transaction could be um, and their general inventory. So is there any way that I can know that? Sure. Roll me. You can either spend a luck to make that narrative declaration or you can do an intelligence and a barter at difficulty of one. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try the roll. Why not? Okay. I'm going to your intelligence this, but... is pretty high up there. Yep. Barter is a big old zero, though. So let's see what happens. Well, you, can, you can do this. And Look you at somehow that. get two successes. Very nice. So you actually get an action point from that. Nice. So yeah, what I'm going to say then is what you know is that there is a wandering trader that sort of keeps to the northern part where Motley Heights and Vault 98 is. Uh, you know him by name, actually. His name is Kenneth Kenworth. It's a little bit corny, but... Uh, the human uh, is a former NCR ranger. Now, you know that because he wears their sort of get up, the sort of emblazoned armor, a cowboy hat, and he sort of brings along a Brahmin that carries all his goods as he tra traverses from point A to point B. Um, but in general, uh, if Kenneth isn't around or you can't find him for whatever reason... You do know of Vault 98, and specifically what you know of Vault 98 is that they're a little bit interesting in the way they trade. Specifically, what it is, is Vault 98 has a Dropbox system, meaning that you more or less arrange a trade with the inhabitants of Vault 98, you put in your item into the Dropbox, you push the drawer closed... They take it out, put in the reset, the uh, opposite item that you've requested, and you basically pass through the wall of the vault. And the reason they do that is because no, at no time since the Great War has Vault 98 ever opened its door, meaning that they have to trade for crucial parts, technology, and so on. Um, so there's supposedly a good market to be had there. Um, but you've personally never been to Vault 98. I think that's the distinction you know of it. You haven't experienced it. Okay. Then I then I would say I'm going to go for the cap reward because that gives us the most flexibility in terms of like acquiring, purchasing, bartering, dealing, bribing, you know. So Okay. Uh, so in that case... Question yes. for the group. Do you want me to just track caps for the group? Or do we want to track individually? It seems like logical just to like bundle our caps together. Does that work? Yeah, that works yeah. for me. All right, cool. mm -hmm. I don't have pockets, so that's <laughs> true. But you do have a functioning anus, so I assume that's where those go. Yikes. Don't know that it quite works that way. Was that I... was that presumptuous? Is it non functional? I keep poop in there. Oh, right. Of course. As as one does. What about your In any event, uh, the way we're going to handle this is you're going to be rolling a base six combat dice. And basically, it's whatever the total is will be uh, what how, it'll be that number times 10 is how many caps you get. But before you roll, you can spend action points to add one combat dice for one action point. And you can repeat that as many times as you wish. We have two action points. I'm going to spend two action points to get two more dice. Here, here All right, go. so it'll be a total of eight. Three, two, one. Okay, very nice. So wait. what wait. I would say is... Luck. Wait. Oh, you're going to luck it. I'm going to luck three of those because there are zeros. I mean, why not? Three. Combat dice. Three. Big bucks. No whammies. Survey says. Oh, better. There nice. It is. You get a total of nine. 
So what I'm going to say then is across all three scavenging sites, you are going to get 90 caps. 90. We have 155 in our party loop, just so you're aware. Nice. Uh, I also have 45 on me. So. Oh, well, then I will put in, I'll add that to the, to the loot. It gives us 210. Now, real quick, uh, one thing I would also point out while we're all looking at the, uh, the handouts right now is mm -hmm. I did outline the parts you need for Morgana. And maybe mm -hmm. let's just take a moment to look at that um, so that you know what's going on here. So in order to build Morgana, a.k.a. the AI that you encountered last mission, uh, in order to build her cybernetic body, you're going to need the following materials. You're going to need a resonating interference grid, or a rig. You're going to need a heat-emitting regulator, or her. And you're also going to need a spatial polarizing actuator, or a spa. Now, those three cannot be made. You have to find those three things as they are. The other thing you can do, and the other materials you're going to need, is you're going to need 10 rare, 20 uncommon, and 40 common. Now, those you can just buy at any merchants, assuming they have the materials on hand. Um, but in general, those first three are going to be sort of your gate to how quickly you can build this cybernetic body. Those sound like missions for future games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> but yeah. Do any of these use reciprocating ding alarms? Well, of course the uh the actuator does, the spa does. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, that that was that was assumed. I was really talking about the other ones. Oh, well, I mean the uh the heat emitting regulator does use a spurving bearing. Oh, that's gonna be hard to get a hold of. Mm. Um hmm. In any event. So since that actually resolved itself fairly quickly, God, I can English today, uh, we're going to skip ahead to you all arriving at Vault 98 proper. Now, Vault 98 is actually set into a hillside like many vaults are. But the difference is, is this is a very small hillside. In fact, you could quite literally walk around the other side of the hill and see that this vault door, the big cog wheel, is almost the entire height of the hill, meaning that if the door were ever to open, it probably goes down. And what you're seeing is that um, next to the vault door to the left, there is a stone wall with three drop boxes inlaid into the wall. However, as you get closer and you take a look at the drop boxes, what you realize is that there has been an explosion here very recently meaning that somebody tried either to get in or there was a mishap, whatever it is, the drop boxes are currently non-functional. Oh. And just so I know out of curiosity, are all three of you approaching at the same time? Is Draxus hanging oh, back? I'm, What's the play here? I'm, I'm, I'm hanging back. I'm not. I will request to approach by myself if the group is all right with that. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. you die first. That's fine. Brilliant. As is tradition. So yeah. guns holstered, hands up, helmet off, in in arm. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is uh, Nicola T. Uh, Sergeant Brother of Steel. Uh, looking to make some trades. I think I'm talking to a hill. I have gone crazy. Oh hell. Well, as you say that, a speaker comes to life and says, "Ah, uh, Nicola T. Was it? Uh, yes." Uh, voice in the sky. Oh, there's a box there. Yeah, yes, that is correct. Uh, Nicola, you may call me Nikki. All right, Mr. Nikki. Uh, we'd be happy to trade with you, but uh, we had a suicide bombing incident about a week ago. We prepared the drop boxes on our end, but somebody would have to fix the drop boxes out there before we could do any trading. Nikki's going to think for a second and then have probably the smartest idea he's ever had in his life, which is saying something. Uh, I would like to barter with them. So here, here's what I'm thinking. We need some specific items. I'd like to find out if you have them. And if so, perhaps we can trade us fixing your boxes for those items. 
and I'll list the items off that um, our chef mentioned. And then can I make a barter check? That's actually where I was going to lead you. Yes. Go ahead and roll me a charisma and a barter. Okay. I'm going to set the base difficulty at a three here. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's see your generic roller. This is a tag skill. Okay. And I'm going to do eight. And I got a five. Oh, it looks like you also just got an action point from chat. Thank you, chat. Hey, I'm going to spend that. Thank you, chat. Yes. You guys are amazing, and we do it for you. Love you. All right. Uh, right. Let's see here. So how many dice? Three. I do it for the money. That's fair. Wait, you're getting paid? Wait, what? You're not? Am I supposed to be? Well, wow. then uh, well, we're not supposed to talk about salary, you know. Um, so. I'm spend Wait, two I, I've been missing on payment this entire time. Well, look, did you go to payroll? You have to go to payroll to get that stuff sold out. Well, fuck. Generic roller. God damn Three. payroll. Three. Don't worry. I've been taking your checks. I've, I've got oh. all the money. Okay. That's good. Wow. Wow. All right. Um, Do you want to luck any of that? I, well, I lucked. I spent two luck. I'm going to spend another. Can I luck it again? Or can you only luck no, it? unfortunately, you can't luck it again. It's you only get to do it once. Um, <sighs> So unfortunately, yeah, it looks like you only rolled two successes overall. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I will allow this to succeed at cost, but there will be a complication. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I love complications. It makes things interesting. All right. Yeah, so, so I mean, again, we'll fix it, and you just give us what we need, and it's a win-win for everybody. Well, uh, good news and bad news. It looks like we can easily acquire the cheese for you. We have quite a lot of it, actually. But in terms of uh, this other stuff for dough and tomatoes, uh, I think we might have a tomato in the back, but uh, it's not something that we actively cultivate. So you can get us the cheese, you said? Uh, yeah, we've, we've got cheese we can give you. All right, hold on one second. I'm going to walk back to the guys. All right, they can get us cheese, and if we fix the things, they give us the cheese for free. Oh, what's the catch? Yeah. yeah. I don't think there is catch. Hey, I'm going to walk back. Hey, is there a catch? Um, I mean, I think you're kind of cute, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, well, I mean, you got a nice voice, too, so, I mean, that's... You know, I mean, I don't know. What are you, what are you doing later in the vault? Yeah, it's so, so desperate. Out. Wait, no, we're focused on a mission. I got Just a every, it's like, a, like yeah. a dog chasing cars. Yeah, yeah <laughs> if the cars were shaped like legs. Yeah. That's funny. Um, anyway, so yeah, no, I mean, um, well, thank you. It's very kind. Um, I have a lady waiting for me back at home. Maybe two. I don't know. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, shut nope. up. You're not helping. Yeah, so do we have a deal? Well, I would shake on it, but there's kind of a vault door between us. Um, Air five. <laughs> and you hear like the whooshing of sound through the loudspeaker, but you get the sense that they've agreed. Hell yeah. All right. Which of you is good at fixing shit? Because I don't know anything about that. <sighs> Once again, I got to do all of the work around here. Hold on now. This is a group effort. We've talked about this, Dr. Worm. You are, you know what? We're going to table it. We're just going to table it. We're going to set that aside. We're going to have you fix the problem, oh, which is oh, what you're wait, good at. Hold on. You are good at this. And I believe did, you hear, did you hear that? The sound of splintering wood? That's the table collapsing under all the shit you've put on it no, over no, the past no, no, two no, weeks. No, 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 no. Angela told us she's got a big ass table over there. It can take more of our shit and we can just keep piling it. You know, is it burying or, or it's like repressing the, the things? Yeah, that's... You know, that's there there comes a time when unresolved issues either have to be dealt with or they'll manifest in very odd and undesirable... Holy shit, say a cute guy. There's a death claw near you. What the hell are you doing? Get the fuck away from it. No, he's oh, fine. His name Dra is Draxus. He's a Drax chef. Is a don't worry about Drax it. is a wave. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. He's my friend. We go way back. We've been through some adventures. Please don't shoot me. Don't shoot him. He's fine. Uh, the ghoul, don't shoot him either. If you want to. No, uh, it's fine. He's going to he's gonna fix the doors, I guess, maybe. I will. Dr. Worm will flip off the, the, the speaker at his mention of his name. He's a little testy. 
his dick fell off 30 years ago. So he's just, he's feeling a little, it's really, it's been coming back up recently. <laughs> um, so it's just, you know, he's, he's got some, he's got some re- repressed emotions. He hasn't worked. The doctor's through. just going to shake his head and walk over to the drop boxes. Like I'll just trail off. <laughs> just get started here. All right. So the way this is going to work is it is going to be a difficulty of three, uh, either intelligence and repair or endurance and repair. I would give you either. Now, what I would say is that every single attempt you make at repairing the boxes will cost one uncommon material, and you have four of those. So you basically have four attempts to get this right. Now, what I would also say as a reminder, you can give me my action points to buy D20s, even though you don't have action points. And it's like Star Trek, where it's one action point one, for one three. die, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. I'll give you one. Okay. But that's that's all. You're cut off. Feed him. Feed him action points. Yes, the chaos. Action points. You mean the currency that allows him to tell us what is real and what isn't. Well, yeah. Mm. As is tradition. Pair. All right. Well, that's that's a complication. Do you wish to luck those? Yeah, I am going to luck that. What's that's just w- it's 1d20, right? Yeah. Unless you want to spend... It's 1d20 per one luck, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to reroll the one. And repair. Wow. Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> so I'll give you an option. You can either... Uh, Make it so that you spend two uncommon materials, but make no headway. Or you can spend one uncommon material, but now the difficulty will be a four. A.K.A. you've made it worse. I will, in keeping with the general tone and theme of this campaign, make it worse. Okay. So I think what happens is, Dr. Worm, you walk up to the drop boxes and you start like pulling out wrenches and other bits of tools and trying to get them functional again. But as you step back to admire your handiwork, you realize that of the three drop boxes, all three are now in much worse state than what you found them in. How's it and going, I think- Doctor? I knew we could do it. And I, I think Jesus what happens Christ. is... Yeah, we got this. I, I think the loudspeakers crackle in and say... Uh, we can't really see what's going on out there at that angle. Uh, everything all right out there? The, Dr. Worm will go to do that. Uh, fuck. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're good out here. Just, um, you know, reticulating some splines out here. It's going to take some time. All right, well, good luck. You know what, Drex? I, 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 again, I talked about this last week, but I feel like I've been too hard on the doctor. You know what? He, he's useful. He's a little gruff, a little rough around the edges. But you know what? Once you get to know him, he's he's really a stand-up guy. Yeah, shit, I mean, you know, shit, he's, shit, he's, he's, shit, uh, shit. You know, I, I may... I mean, you know, Nikki, like, I'm not really this buffoon that I pretend to be, but I do it because, like, I know that he needs to feel like he's the smartest guy in the room. So that's why I just kind of. I I don't even know what this tool is for. Jesus Christ. uh, This is why you're a good friend because you're willing to make a sacrifice to to make sure someone else, a friend of yours, feels good about themselves. I fucking love you, man. I love uh, you too, man. I mean, I have an extra but, screw. Why do I have an extra screw? All right, let's hug. Like, we'll just like, hug, hug your, your knee. <laughs> <laughs> just... Careful with the claws. They're really oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, God. I've um. So I found this. I found this uh, big slab of concrete, and I found that they're really good for sharpening them. And you know, okay. like it's just, it's like this compulsion that I have sometimes. Like I just want to rake my claws and like rend flesh i don't know maybe that's just yeah. me i mean you know there's a little bit of instinct um you know going into that you know we're all we're all, we're all creatures of instinct you know oh yeah yeah for sure you know, i mean i'll be a pair of legs and i'm just like oh you're God just damn going son right of a bitch there, you know, you know like, and you know you know like i'm looking at him right now working and like what quiet dignity 
He's got a rock and just yes. God <laughs> fucking <laughs> pure focus, dedication to his craft. You, you know what? I think we can learn something from the doctor here. I feel like oh, yeah. you know that that kind of yeah. like just all in. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to fix the thing. I'm going to do what I'm good at. The dedication. You know, I'm going to fucking kill you. I, I see him. And you know what I think? There's a phrase that comes to mind. And I think he really personifies it. And that is your focus determines your reality. Oh, my God. You are fucking brilliant. You should write a book. I'll help you write it. You say the things, I'll write it. I know your claws are too big to write things. Oh, I, will, yeah. I will help you write this. Best seller. I mean, I could scratch it on like cinder blocks and it could be like stone tablets from like, oh my gosh, we could build like a stone, like, like cathedral, like a, like a stone hinge. I'm just going to lay down on the ground. Yeah. And you could carve <laughs> in your wisdom and then we could, we could charge people. Whoa, 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 to whoa, it. whoa Nikki, whoa. Yeah. Look, what? He's in such an intense state of concentration. God, He's on I... the ground just contemplating, like, I'd love to know what's going through his mind right now. I feel like. It's got to be just brilliance. Like, I know, really? I know. I would feel better if they both if, if they both died. I know that. <laughs> like I feel it in my heart. But I can't do it alone, and <laughs> I can't ask the Vault ninety eight people to help me if I don't fix these stupid <laughs> drop boxes. And I can't do it with a rock. I've tried. I've tried man's tools, and I've tried nature's tools, and and they have both betrayed me. <laughs> And I'm just, what else am I supposed to do? Uh, God, are you still there? Did you get nuked as well? Please come down and help me right now. Smite the non-believers, or at least these fucking drop boxes. Jesus, Herbert Walker Christ. You're going to hate me for this, but I'm going to spend one of my action points to make the narrative declaration that as you pray to God, there is a literal thunderbolt just out of nowhere, still blue sky. Just a literal thunderbolt that strikes a tree nearby, catching it on fire. Dear God, Whoa. his brilliance is bringing down lightning from the heavens. This is inspirational. All right. So that's that's how it's going to go, huh, God? Okay. All right. You've made, you've made an enemy for life, all right? This is war. I, I will live to spite you, and I will do everything in my power to tear you down from your golden throne. We got a nuka cola quantum. Yep, That's you guys action. just got three action points from Chad. Fuck yes, thank you, Chad. Let's go. Oh man, with with defiance and spite, Doctor mm. Word will rise <laughs> uh, from his grave, and he <laughs> will try to fix these things once again. All right, so it is difficulty four. You have three action points. How many dice you're rolling? I am rolling the maximum amount that I can get away with. Okay. Does that include giving me action points as well? Yes. All right. That means I get three. It's like, okay. It's like five D20. Who's, who's the cat? It's fixing the drop boxes. Dr. Worm. I'm talking about Dr. Worm. It's just like, mouth. I feel like it. One bad motherfucker. Uh, yeah. I ain't messing around no Dr. Worm. Yeah. It's, it writes itself. I mean, it really does. I mean, I just, I just jumped in there. It just felt right. It was like natural, you know. No, it was good. Like it was. I, 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 could, I, felt, could, I felt like we were collaborating. Like there felt was that. Flow. Like just in uh, the moment. Real quick, hex is repair tagged. Repair is not tagged. No. Okay. So then, yeah, you get five successes. So, ironically, I think what happens is when you start to perform percussive maintenance with the rock again, you strangely begin to make headway. And I'm going to let you flavor how you actually finish repairing them. But yes, by the end of it, you have repaired the drop boxes. I will, uh, uh, Dr. Worm will start with, you know, just kind of like chiseling at these things with the rock and it will get more and more aggressive and unhinged. And so towards the end, it seems like he's one of those ape men from the beginning of 2001, where he's just sort of chucking shit at these drop boxes and, and hooping and hollering. And then as soon as he realizes that he's fixed it, he will look in the sky and raise his arms and say, and scream to the heavens, I defy you. I swear this is his magnum opus. Just breathtaking to watch. Um, are, are you talking to me? Who, who are you talking to out there? Ah, uh, no, it's uh, just had a minor psychological breakdown. It's fine. Yeah, drop boxes are fixed. I think, I think I know what he did. I think I know what he did. 
Oh my god, it's so obvious. Enlighten me. All right. <clears throat> he just did, I think. I think I just heard him use the Maktar chant of strength. I think he was I think he was chanting Larak Tarath, Larak Tarath and hitting it with a rock, a rock, Larak Tarath. Dude, <gasps> fucking brilliance. Good job, doctor. Proud of you. You are the man. Fucking man. Well, um, I hate to interrupt a touching moment, but we have your cheese ready. Um, believe it or not, we, we actually have some choices for you. Um, would you prefer Brahmin or would you prefer goat? Can we have both? I suppose we could give you both. We'll, we'll take both, please. Nice and, negotiation. And I think what happens is one of the drop boxes shuts and you hear a clunk and an item being deposited. And then whoever opens it up, you will find inside six wheels of cheese, three goat, three Brahmin. Let's let doctor do the honors. Do doctor, why don't you open it? You're the man. Of, you're the man of the hour. You deserve this. Doctor, the doctor will very delicately, as if he were diffusing a bomb, open up the slot for the drop box, waiting for something to, to collapse <laughs> or cut him or to be struck by a lightning bolt. Who knows? Nothing happens. You just open up the drop box and in the uh, safety compartment inside again, R6 wheels of cheese. <sighs> Once again, I am denied the sweet release of death. Yeah, the cheese is in here. You great job, Doctor. Just fantastic work. Gonna try to like get it all in my arms, like uh, a little help here. I can't walk over and help him. Right. I can't get near that cheese that smells killing me. If I touch one, I'll eat it. Hands off. Oh, I know I know me. I know my weaknesses. Now, huh, now, uh, ELH, you did say wheels of cheese, and that brings to mind a, uh, a another Bethesda game. Um, are you familiar with uh, the Elder Scrolls? Are you? Am I saying that nah, right? Nah, never heard of it. Uh, okay. Well, actually, no. I did hear of it once. It was a terrible game. Apparently, people really yeah. hated it. They they couldn't mod it. You know, there was just it was just really really. Well, I mean, bad. Um, that you're all of that is a hundred percent true. Uh, it is unmoddable, and it is um, the the thing is though, even though it's unmoddable, a hundred percent bug free, completely stable. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the most stable game in the history of all games. Yeah, people yeah. have tried to break that and just have not just succeeded. No, yeah. There well, anyway, the long story the short. That tried to mod it to break it and they couldn't. Yeah, he's work. in jail now. So yeah, yeah. He got yeah. Arrested. yeah. Rightly so. That anyway, there were <laughs> there were wheels of cheese in that game. That's just the funny kind of reference. <laughs> so. Anyway. <laughs> oh Lord. All right. Well, with your new cheese wheels in hand. I think that's where we're going to take a five to 10 minute break. And when we come back, we're going to see where you get the other ingredients. And if you go after any Murlocs, Mur lurks, I'll say Meyer right, lurks. Meyer lurks. Meyer lurks. God, why am I unable to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what they'll be. Maybe, you know what? Maybe instead of just Meyer lurks, there are now Meyer Murlocs. Baby just... Meyer lurks, the Murlocs. What there the you hell go. is that? They're they're gonna copyright strike us. You know that. Uh, we're doing. Really yes, are. it was a nice stream, everybody. Good we're to done. know you. All right, we'll be back in five to ten. Stick around. Welcome back, everybody. If you're just tuning in, the intrepid player group that we have among us, the scribe, the deathclaw, and the ghoul. Well, let's just say they are quite literally gathering ingredients for a pizza. Yes, you heard that right. A pizza, the greatest gift mankind has ever given to itself. And we are sort of a few minutes past where they have just acquired cheese, one of the hardest in ingredients to get in the wasteland. And now they have to tr figure out where to get the other ingredients for both tomatoes and for the dough needed for the pizza. And then if they're feeling up to it, some Meyer lurks. So we're going to drop right in with you guys sort of meandering back towards the east 
And I'm going to let you guys decide where you take things from here because I don't want to, like, tamper your creativity about where you're going to be sourcing these things. Let's go get some Mirelurk. I mean, I'm all about Mirelurk. That seems like that's going to be, first of all, fun, exciting. It'll and be delicious. Cool and delicious. delicious. Yeah. Isn't that putting the irradiated horse before the irradiated ir- cart before the horse? I don't understand that reference, and maybe a little. What? We haven't even made the pizza yet. You're gonna go out and like kill some myelux. I mean, yeah, we need it. For, we need it for the pizza. Can we don't need it. I, I feel like I feel like we do. I mean, she didn't say we needed it. She's like, if you want, but if you listen to that beautiful, sweet tonality in her voice, we need it. Like, <laughs> could, could you even hear anything with all the blood rushing away from your head? I'm sorry, what were you talking? I got confused. I was thinking about her for a second. Why are my pants so tight? Anyway, okay, so uh, Merlurks, Merlurks, Merlocks. I don't remember what they're called, but whoa, 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 let's go find some. In that case, whoever has the best perception survival, I need you to roll me a difficulty one, please. I don't think that's me. Once again. Mine's okay. Mine's, I mean, it'd be a nine for me. I feel like uh, Dr. Worm would be better suited. I've got mine's a tag skill, so here we go. Let's go. Hey! You get a crit, so that's already two successes. So you actually get an action point off that. Very nice. So, Dr. Worm, using your knowledge of the area, you actually lead the group to what is essentially a pond slash small lake um, that has a river that feeds out into the ocean uh, in the distance on the horizon. And you know of this location specifically because, well, let's just say you overheard it somewhere, I think might be a good way to put it. But in the lake or the pond, whichever way you want to think of it, there are two Mirelurks, so the standard sort of uh, big lobster crab things. And then you're seeing about four little hatchlings, or murlocs as apparently we're calling them now. <laughs> and what I would say is, based on your levels of success here, you would know that the bigger Mirelurks are the ones that have the soft shell uh, meat that was requested. Now, what I would also say is, you know that if you wanted a queen, you'd have to go up and down the coast to find one. Well, my job's done. All right, Draxus, I want to leave this one to you. Do we go for the queen, or do we settle for the the little ones? You call it. Well... Taking the myriad factors into consideration, I would say nothing worth doing well is easy. That should go on one of them stone tablets. The pillars. Yeah. No, that's yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that together as soon as we get back. I'm gonna start looking for the concrete. But yeah, I think. Yeah, let's 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 go big. Let's get the queen. Come on. All right, counterpoint. Hear me out. Why not bolt? Oh, he fell asleep again. It's fine. He's old. So I'm thinking we do bolt, and then we bring him back, and she's going to be so impressed with our efforts. You know where I'm going with this. All right. You know, the last time we we let Doc Worm take the lead, he was he was brilliant. It, it worked. It happened. So let's just leave him right here with the cheese. And let's go get those Mirelurks, and then we'll come back, and then we get to be the smart guys who got the who got the stuff, you know? This is like that self-empowerment thing we've been talking about, right? Like Yeah, exactly, like, right? Like, you, you be the change you wish to see in, in the, the pizza. In the pizza. Yeah, that, that's exactly where I was going. You literally, like, it's like we're writing a story. It's, it's, I just can't, like, it's you like. in my mind, just, just whoop, 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 just taking them right out. It's just, it's like my brain is a tree and you're those little cookie elves. That's brilliant. You're just, I mean, brilliance and, and just wrapped in, in sharp, just amazing claws. I'm, I'm humbled and honored to know you. 
Thank you. Yeah, me too. Let's just let's all right. Let's get these death claws. Oh. Ah. Oh, I love it. So I'm gonna let Worm decide how long he continues the bit, but the moment like gunfire <laughs> is heard, I it's probably a given that Doctor Worm will wake up. Um, but I'm again, very you're tired. Cool. <laughs> I was going to say, totally your call, though, whether or not he does. Um, so, yeah, I mean, since it is technically going to be uh, you're all opening up with combat, uh, I will, as we seem to do, I will give you all an option. Um, we can either um, do it in standard, you know, rules as written, where, you know, we actually have the initiative on our sheets and we go by the initiative order. Or we can do the player enemy player enemy that we take from Star Trek Adventures. Uh, which would you prefer? I'll leave it up to the guys. I don't know about the rest of you, but I've got pretty good initiative. It's a 16. So I think we should do the initiative thing. Sounds good. Yeah. Agreed. All right. So in that case, uh, let me actually move these back to the regular layer. And then let's get everybody into initiative order. All right, so, uh, oh, I see duplicates. Let me fix that. Ah, chaos. Gotta love roll 20. All right, there we go. No, so, yeah, go ahead and to. put input your initiative here as I look up what the lovely Meyer Lurk is at. It is at a 12. I'll say this one is 12.5. All right, everybody's in, sorting, descending. So Nicola T, you are up first. And what I would say is two things are available to you. The first is that technically you can use sneak attack rules um, because, again, you are opening up combat. And the other thing I would say is that your character would know, I think it's common in, you know, in canon lore, that you would know that hitting it in the face is its weak point. So instead of charging in like we normally do, can we like, like, like quietly sneak up maybe and mm -hmm. like try to target its face and blow it off? Maybe I yes. can do that. Yeah, I will certainly allow it. We'll handle it as the move will be your minor um, and that'll involve a, a uh, sneak check. Um, and if you succeed at that, then we will follow the rules for sneak attacks. How does that sound? That sounds incredibly fair. All right. So in that case, I need you to roll me an agility and a sneak at a difficulty of two. Ah, yikes. Whew. All right. That's one success. Do you wish to re-roll that 12? Well... Here's the good news. My sneak is not tagged, so yes, I will reroll that. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Uh, that word. Oh. That word doesn't mean what you think it means. Hey, I'm aware. He keeps, he keeps saying it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I tried. not enough. So I think what's going to happen then is, unfortunately, <laughs> you're not going to get the sneak attack bonus. Um, oh, hey, you just got an AP from Chad. Thank you, Chad. Is that, can um, it just be that I step on a glass bottle? Like, that's my, my horcrux. Or a I, I think that's what it is, is you get closer and closer to the lake. Off. Yeah, you get closer and closer to the lake, and your foot comes down, and everybody hears a sickening crunch. Every time. Every time. So, yeah, unfortunately, no sneak attack, but you still can use your major action to open fire, if you so wish. I'm going to do that, and I would like to aim at its head. Okay, so uh, you aiming at the head means it's a difficulty two, agility and small arms, if I remember your character correctly. I will be using my laser gun because... In that case, it will be a perception and energy weapons. I can do that. Um, and this is a tag skill. Okay. And I would like to use one of those, one of those APs that were just given to us. Thank you, chat. You're brilliant. And let's do this. My special is, and my skill is. That's three successes, meaning you actually get one Five back. Very nice. Five successes because it's I have six in that skill and it's tagged. 
So very nice. That's three action points back. Let's get weird. Um, I would like to spend two ammo to get six. Okay. And terrible. I would like to. Do I spend an action point to reroll? Luck. 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 I'm running a little low, but I feel like this is important. So I'm going to spend it and I'm going to reroll those three challenge dice or combat dice. Excuse me. All right. All right so that's a five. total of five. Uh, any effects on that? Uh, piercing. Piercing one. Piercing one. Very important. Uh, so let's see. You rolled two effects. So you take an aim shot and you fire and you manage to hit, let's say, Meyer Lurk A uh, in the face and it kind of recoils back, uh, taking a big chunk of its health away. Um, uh, however, uh, uh, uh. Uh, as the noise wakes up Dr. Worm, the Myrlurk unfortunately does not appear to be uh, even at half health, unfortunately. It seems to be quite um, doing well, as it were. So that <laughs> that uh, that is your turn, unless you wish to spend action points for extra minors or majors. Ooh, I would like to spend an action point to give myself a major to run back behind Traxxas. Uh, All right, so buddy, your turn. <laughs> that would be a minor and would be okay. one action point. Done. Run back, slap him on the back of the knee. Your turn, buddy. Get in there. All right. My turn? You didn't do anything. I hit, I hit it in the face, kind of. Well, All right. It's at this point that Dr. Worm, if you are awake, it is your turn. Sort of shaking the grogginess off of me. I've just been standing upright, just asleep. Hmm. Um, oh, God. Uh, oh, no. God, no. Oh, why? Uh, I thought this was just an elaborate prank. How, where am I with respect to the rest of the party and the uh, the Merlire locks or whatever that we're firing at? Let's uh, let's use a little bit of theater of the mind staging here. So let's say that you all are about medium range away from the pond currently. Um, it is to the north of where you are currently. And the pond is maybe about medium to long range and distance, meaning it covers two to three zones. So it's a fairly large body of water all things considered um so the closest mire lurk to you is going to be at medium range um you of course can spend your minor to get to long or to sh too close but it is very much in the realm of medium at the moment okay and if so... it matters there is uh, small bits of cover in form of rocks um and bits of trees that have sort of clung to life best they can but last you checked, Myra Lurks don't really have ranged attacks, so I just mostly add those for flavor. I'm going to spend one action point mm -hmm. to get a second minor action. Okay. Right? I'm going to use one minor action to go close. Okay. I'm going to spend another minor action to aim. Okay. Uh, and then I will fire with my pipe gun at the uh, one that Nicola bothered. Okay. So for you, it's going to be an agility and small guns. Uh, are you aiming at the head? Yes. In that case, it's a difficulty of two. Okay, if you insist. Uh, Big money, no whammies. I'm going to spend another action point to get three D20s. No one has said no yet, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, it's, it's your choice. It's your agency. Mm -hmm. We're all in this together. Are we? I don't know. Maybe. We'll find out. <laughs> so my small gun skill is tagged. So, All right. Let's check. Uh, if it's tagged, that means you do have two successes. The, that's what you need. Yeah, my uh, rate ranking is a four in that, so. Yeah, so you get the two successes you need. Now, of course, you do have the option of rerolling from aim. You could reroll one of those d20. Mm. Yeah, I will reroll one of them. Okay. Try and get that, uh, get back that AP. 
which you do. You manage to get one AP back. Very nice. So yeah, you run up, you level the pipe gun right into the Mirelurk's face and open fire. Uh, so now we need to know how much uh, ammo are you spending uh, in this attack? So one for the shot and then two to add two more dice. Okay. So I should have, I got five shots left. Uh, okay. Combat dice, normally it is three. Plus two is five. There we go. All right. Any effects on your pipe gun? Uh, it says N slash A. What effect is that? Not applicable, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Okay, so well, what how that's much, how much damage does that, that do? Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not enough to cause an injury, unfortunately. So you open fire with your pipe gun, and you actually seem to have just you, you've almost tickled it. I mean, it does start to look a little bit worse for the wear at this point, but you might as well have just gone up to it with a feather duster, all things considered. Well, I mean, you can you can describe what happens, but you don't have to be rude about it. <laughs> oh. So, by my count, you can't spend for another miner, so I think you're stuck next to the Myra Lurks. Yeah. All right. Well, the Meyer Lurk you just shot uh, is going to run up to you first, and um, how you feeling luck-wise? How, uh, how you doing? I have two luck points left. <laughs> I'm going to spend one of my action points to give the Meyer Lurk an extra die here. Dear gods. Uh, okay, so your yeah. defense Why is one How about that Meyer Lock explodes? How about that? I mean, is your defense a one? <laughs> my defense is a one. All right. Well, I'll roll the second d20 because there could be a, uh, or the third d20 because there could be a double complication. All right. So it's it's not a double complication. Um, so I think what's going to happen is the Meyer Lurk is going to come running up to you, and it is going to attempt to more or less uh, enclose uh, its deadly pincers around your left leg. Um, however, the complication is going to be that it loses its balance because uh, it's been shot in the head a little bit. So it's actually going to do less damage than normal is what that complication is going to be. Um, so instead of that five, uh, I'm going to say it only deals uh, four physical damage to your left leg. Four to the left leg. Okay, that means I take three damage. And while you're dealing okay. with that, the other Meyer Lurk is going to come in and try to do the exact same thing. Uh, I'm not going to give this one any action points. We're just going to roll and see what the Meyer Lurk gets. Well, the Meyer Lurk crits on this one, unfortunately. Of course. Yeah. Well, why not? Yeah. So I think this time you're going to take six physical damage to the torso. Oh, no. Six to the torso, huh? Oh, physical. no. Right. Dr. Worm. Gonna take another three points. There you go. Oh, Dr. Worms. He was so old. <laughs> How much, uh, uh, much HP do my, you have at the moment? My hubris. Uh, seven. Okay. He's fine. <laughs> All right. But uh, as the Mirelurks swarm and start to snap at Dr. Worm, hey, you just, just got three AP from chat. Very nice. Nice. Thank uh, you. We now come around to Draxus. Draxus, you're seeing Dr. Worm being mobbed. Nicola T has run behind you. What's the play? Well, I think I gotta go save Doctor Worm. You don't have to. Okay. Be the change um, you wish to see in the pizza, Draxus. I feel like I feel like everyone in this campaign is sniffing wood glue. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe. Let's, I don't judge. Let's. Um, oh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up and and so the one that's already been like bothered a little bit by the uh, by the gunfire, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go up and and try to slash it to ribbons. So very important question: Do you have pain train as a perk? I didn't take it yet, but I've got a plan for it. So I do not have pain train. All right, so but in that I've got case, something... it will take it will take your minor to get in range, and then a yeah. major to slash at the mire lurk. Mm -hmm. And that I will gladly do. I, I, I did pick up another perk, though, uh, oh. that, I th is, that I think is going to be interesting here. So I've got Rending Strike, so I'm going to increase the difficulty of this attack by one. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and if I succeed, I'll get an extra two combat dice if I hit. So let's. Did you want to spend an action point to aim at its head? Uh, no, well, it's not I'm an not... action point to aim at its head. It's huh. it's whenever you specifically aim at a body part, the difficulty goes up by one. Yeah. Oh, I thought um, it was a minor action to aim. I yeah. No, well, no, I mean there still is. That's a separate it's, thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah but so this the... is a, but this this is a called shot, not not an aim. Basically, oh, but, but I'm not I'm not calling the shot, but I am going to spend. Uh, an action point to give myself an extra d20. Okay. Uh, and so we're going to roll three d20s. And my unarmed skill is tagged, so. that Very nice. That's already four successes, I believe. Correct. So that's going to get you back uh, three AP, which means you have two floating by my count. All right. Guys, any suggestions for what to do with floating? Uh, add add extra damage. And them for more damage. All right. All right. So we will do that. Okay. And... Um, just realized because it's a melee attack, mm -hmm. you actually can't spend action points uh, because the only way to uh, beef your damage for mm -hmm. melee, I believe, is. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure that you have to spend luck because you're right. Nope. For a ranged weapon, it is AP. Okay. Trying well, it to says find on a it successful open. melee attack here in the reference. Yeah, that's what I'm reading here. Um, on a successful melee attack. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's on the bottom of page 26. Yeah, that's where I was looking for was page 26. Huh. Yeah. It does say that. All right. That. Okay. See, oh, you know what it is? That's where the confusion is. So it's, it's action points for melee. It's ammo for guns that's where the confusion is okay, oh now. okay okay yeah all right all right so that's two extra challenge that action or combat dice mm -hmm. and oh. you can spend up to three i'm really excited to watch you eviscerate this Myrlock. um okay so i can spend three so that gives me what three extra chance no well, you, had, yeah, oh, no, you no. had the two floating yeah, yeah, yeah. And right, you right, spend right. The one. right 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 yeah you got it Wow. Um, <laughs> Chad, I, I think it's dead. I, I, I think it's dead. This is your fault. Well, Draxus, this is what you have wrought. Draxus, how would you like to? How would you like to kill this thing? Um, just the old like. So we'll, we'll say like it's got, you know, it's trying to pinch Doctor Worm with its little pinchy fingers, and uh, Draxus is just going to calmly grab its. Claw, sort of like uh, you know, Data with Picard when Picard was the Borg, mm -hmm. and it's just sort of looking up at Draxus, and he just does that thing where he takes his finger and just goes. And I think the Meyer Lurk does literally drop on the spot, and I'm gonna actually spend. You do kill it, by the way, but I'm gonna actually spend the uh, two AP on my end that I mm -hmm. was gonna do this Wild Wasteland out of combat, but since oh, it is combat, it. I will actually spend it. for the. Um, thing. So before Nicola T, before we come back around to you at the it's top of round two, you all hear the screaming of a man possessed. And as you turn to look away just for a moment, you see a man in an NCR combat uniform dead out sprinting as fast as he can towards you all screaming, run, run for your lives. What the hell are you doing? Run. Okay, first and, off, don't tell me how to live my life. Second of all, from what? Well, it's Nicola T's turn, so what do you want to do on your turn? I'm the, I'm the only crazy guy here. You get back in your lane. And I'm going to so, shoot him in my life. Hear, yeah. hear me out here. Maybe mm -hmm. you shoot him in the leg. Yeah. That way, whatever's chasing him will be we'll occupied. Yeah, that's, this guy you gets it. You know what? I, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be like... <laughs> Oh, I'll turn. I'll target his leg and try to blow it off. Because I guess you're after holes. It is the wasteland. Uh, so so what, the... that is going to be difficulty of two because you're aiming for the leg. Okay. Um, it is considered to be at long range. So what is the optimal range for your weapon? Uh, range is close. Okay. In that instance, you're looking at a difficulty three to okay. hit the... Uh, the uh, individual running at you, or um, it would be a difficulty two 
Or I guess it would be a difficulty three to shoot a Mire Lurk from where you are in the face. What about his leg? I mean, his leg is, that's what makes it difficulty three, because it's one for the aiming for the leg, and it's one for the range in increment. Let's do it. I'm going to spend, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to spend three action points to roll yeah, four dice. Let's get weird. Be like, hey, yeah. thanks for the heads up. Pew, pew. <laughs> and uh, try to blow his leg off. You don't have to run faster than the bear. You just have to run faster than the slowest member of your group. I like where you find that. All right. So that will be that. Oh, I did not roll the right thingy. Sorry, everybody. I screwed up. Four. I don't know. I thought the eight challenge dice was, or combat dice was very nice. Uh, Damn. That is five successes. That is very, very impressive. Yes. With five successes, you get two AP back. Now you can roll your combat dice. This gentleman's leg explodes out from under him. Is is jibbed. And the extra ammo, because fuck it. Um, and I'll spend my last luck because I don't know why not. Let's just let's just really mess up this guy's day. Uh, plus three, so that is seven with three piercing. So you hear the guy you say hey thanks you turn you shoot him in the leg he goes down because that's enough for an injury and as he goes down he says what the fuck why are you shooting <laughs> you son of a bitch i don't know you can't, you come running at a guy with a gun i mean what do you he think came at me. Happen, you fucking idiot jesus <laughs> i swear to god you're out in the wasteland people come running you ah, i'm crazy and you shoot them and they're like what the fuck you, dr you should, this is a lesson you should learn all right and you're welcome Dr. Worm, as we come to your turn, you maybe spare a glance for whatever the hell's going on behind you, and you realize that the man that Nicola T. just shot is Kenneth Kensworth, the man that is the traitor you may have been looking for. But it is your turn. Okay, do... Don't read into this. Mm Mm-hmm. Can I see his Brahmin nearby? Uh, yes, his Brahmin is... Well, it was running with him, but it's come to a stop and is, like, nudging him with its nose. Okay. Um, let's see here. How far can I... Okay, so he's at long range from me, correct? Correct. All right. I would like to spend two AP okay. to get an additional major action mm-hmm. and sprint over there. Okay. Part, that can partly to, to you know match the distance and partly to get away from these fucking hell crabs. Uh, so I'm over there. Mm-hmm. Um and I will sort of like skid to a stop near uh, uh, Kensworth, right? Mm-hmm. And I'll I'll just sort of look at him and go, "Oh, hey, KK, how you doing?" Um, Your buddy fucking the, shot me. Why do you not understand yeah. the danger that is coming? Yeah, I know he's a he's a real piece of work. Listen, I'm sorry about this, and I'm just gonna shoot him <laughs> while he's down. All right. Well. Um... Basically, just roll and don't roll a complication. That's all you have to do is not roll a complication. Well, we'll see. <laughs> okay. I'm real sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, that's Wasteland Justice. Uh, what are you going to do? All right, you tagged, didn't roll a complication. So, <sighs> so as Mr. Kensworth departs this world, I do want to say thank you, Gray Matter. You're going to have to come up with a new NPC because yours just died. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, everybody. That was one of our. That. Uh, that, that was bad. one of our. Uh, that was that was one of our Patreon uh, NPCs. Oh, so. oh no! <laughs> oh, poor um, Kensworth. I mean, he shouldn't have come running at me. That like, is true. Don't he did do run that. You come screaming. He did run at you. Like, Came I don't, like a spider monkey. In the middle, like like the adrenaline was running through me. Like, of course, I'm gonna shoot him. Like. Oh, well. But seriously, Grey Matter, I'll get with you after stream and we'll figure out a new NPC (laughs) for you. But yeah, um, he's dead. He's super dead. In fact, there's no way you're going to be able to put his head back together. He's dead. Um, 
But what you also notice is that bef- uh, before the uh, Meyer Lurk gets to go, you finally see what was supposedly the terror that he was running from. Specifically, it is a white rabbit. And I mean just your bog standard rabbit that's colored white. And it just angrily hops up to his body and begins feasting, turning it its coat oh, no. red, oh, no, crimson no. red. No, 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 no. But as you all are freaking out about the um, certain killer bunny, we the can't Meyer Lurk, risk a frontal assault. That rabbit's dynamite. Quite mm. literally, even. Uh, Draxus, how do you feel about a Meyer Lurk hitting you? I mean, I don't feel great about it, but if it has to happen, it has to happen. Well, uh, yeah, it's going to crit, and uh, I'm going to spend one action point to reroll those three zeros. Uh, so let's see. This is going to be a grand total of... Oh, dear. Uh, that's going to be nine damage to your left arm. Ow! <laughs> In case it wasn't clear, Dr. Worm is going to back away from the rabbit. Mm-hmm. Just wanted to make that very clear. Mm. Take the Brahmin. <laughs> Pull him away. Oh, I'm, I'm going to. Yeah. So real yeah. quick, Draxus, that is an injury for you, I believe. Yes. All right. So unfortunately, what that means is that if you were holding anything, you would have dropped it. But your arm is considered to be broken or otherwise unable to move, meaning you cannot use that arm until Draxus uh, receives medical treatment, basically. Oh, uh, I think it's broken. This has never never happened to me before. Bop through the plane. Be the train. All right. Well, Draxus, it is now your turn. I'm gonna give it right back to him. Okay. I got one. I got one good arm. And uh, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna spend a, another AP um, for an extra die or an extra D20, and we're gonna go ahead and use rending strike again. Okay. Are you just torso face? I'm wherever it, wherever it hits, it hits. I'm gonna, okay. gonna let fate. That is three successes, so go ahead and uh, roll that hit location. What is your melee skill? Because that might have been a crit. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. Yeah. So in that case, you're going to get two AP back and hitting it in the right arm. Noted. Go ahead and roll me your damage. Wow. Uh, that and is... I'm going to I'm gonna luck those, uh, those zeros. All right. There's two zeros. Oh, just the, yeah, that's right. You can roll up to three. Up that's to three, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, that's... and that is sufficient. That as you slash out uh, with your remaining good arm, you sever the Mirelurk's arms complete. Well, the right arm, yeah. You sever the right arm of the Mirelurk completely, and as it begins to bleed out. Uh, we are now going to just drop out of initiative order because at this point it's taken an injury and isn't much of a threat at this point and is very easy <laughs> to kill. Ow. Ow, Dr. Worm. And at this point, the, the doctor is like, you know, grabbed onto the, the Brahmin's like leash or the lead, lead or whatever mm-hmm. and is like desperately trying to like, okay, come on, you son of a bitch. All right, away, away from the other animal. Come on. So uh, you're going to hate me for this, but I need you to roll me. And I don't no, think animal handling is will. a thing. It's not an an. I don't think is animal handling a thing. I don't think it is. Probably survival, right? Yeah, I'm thinking of survival. Uh, go ahead and give I'm me a that. charisma and a survival here. That's I know, obviously, your so two bad. best skills. Well, charisma is OK. If you'd asked me to do strength, that, that would be the, the problem. Charisma and survival. And that's a tag skill, of course. Nice. Mm-hmm. Jesus, nice. Herbert. Christ. <gasps> okay. Nice. Let me oh I'm gonna I'm gonna lock both of those. <laughs> okay. So let's just let's just do this again. How about that? Hmm. Just mulligan. Let's it's just a little quick do-over. Do over. Yeah. 
All right. Well, Great. you didn't Super. succeed, but you didn't roll a complication. So <laughs> the Brahmin's not moving. Uh, but the good news is that the rabbit is, again, just sort of consuming old Mr. Kensworth. Nicola T is going to first and foremost go check on his buddy. Directions. Uh, Are you okay, man? That yeah. looked like it hurt. Ah. Uh, really, yeah, it really, really hurt. And I know we like to use positive visualization, but I really don't think I'm up to a Myrler queen with one good arm no i mean i feel like we've got what we came for we, we've got it and you know what you know what you remember you like anything it, this was hard so that means it was worth doing well yeah exactly right. i'm gonna just yeah. probably just need a couple of days you heal fast you're a fire yeah. survivor yeah. all of those things the rabbit yeah. stops eating and turns to look up at dr worm I'm really creeped out by that white rabbit thing over there. It's fluffy and white. I don't like it. I'll be honest. I don't want any of that. I don't want any of it. It stares at Dr. Worm menacingly. If you had, you had better kill me. You had better, <laughs> you had better end my life. Because if you only so much as wound me, uh, your life is going to be a nightmare of pain. You understand me? You fucking, you, you snow white, hoppy asshole. <laughs> I will ruin you. I can't speak. I can't. I can't. You, you think dump, I have Dump those action points. Dump those action points. You think I haven't haven't met some veterinarians <laughs> in my time? I know how to take you apart. <laughs> yeah. Is... Um, charisma and a speech difficulty of three. Spend it. Spend them all. I'm going to spend all of the action points. Yeah, dump it. So that's uh, what another two. So that's yeah. Four. You could spend three for two, or you could spend six by giving ELH two more and roll five. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Okay. Charisma and speech. Oh boy. Which you actually get five yeah. successes on. <laughs> oh. So you get two. AP back. And right. I think the white rabbit, it looks <laughs> up at you. Its nose twitches a little bit. And then it, it takes one final bite of Kensworth and then turns around and hops back in the direction it came. I've never in all of my days thought I would say this. The doctor's fucking scary. Oh, I know that. Like fucking terrifying. Like it's yeah. out of the dead inside. He's like, that's he's that's like, right. <clears throat> that's right. Hop away. Both you and God are not able to end me. You see, like, that's a man who's not afraid to die. I respect that, but I also fear it. Yeah. It's like he's dead inside, so he doesn't fear death. And that's a man, that's a man you don't fuck with. Unless he is death. We're you guys gonna help that. me with this Brahmin or what? Table it oh yeah, be, uh, uh, yes sir. Just one I'm, second, I'm, Dave. Right over, I'm I'm sir, just, doctor. We gotta go. Sir. Let's go. Well, let's go before don't wanna, he. Don't wanna, Listen. Don't all right. Okay. Okay. You know what? All right. This is the thing. All right. Do you know? You see him? You know? Yeah. He could kill. He could kill us. He could kill both of us. Right now. Okay. I think sometimes we forget we're hanging out with Doctor Worm. With Doctor Death. Yeah. All right. Let's just go and do whatever. He yeah. says whatever you thing. want, sir. We're on our way to assist you in whatever endeavors you deem worthy. Uh, great. Just get over here. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's just Drax, is, Drax will come over and say, "Yeah, these Bra Brahmin usually don't like me." That's. And in fact, the moment you come <laughs> close, the Brahmin tries its best to run in the opposite direction. Uh, no, I'm no, what? No, I think I got this one. Moo. It's not gonna work. Uh, all right, Brahmin, the Brahmin tries please. to run harder. Oh, I need Doctor Worm to roll me a strength just... and an athletics at a difficulty of two. <laughs> me? Mm -hmm. oh, you? Because you're holding the lead. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake. Uh... Really, this game is how much can I bully Profess Hacks? Really, that's what this game Strength, is. That's what it's turned into. Athletics. <laughs> well, <laughs> surprise to you, I put two skill ranks into athletics. So there you go. Who's the fool now? Wow. Still me. You apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Still me. <laughs> 
Do you have any luck to, to re-roll? Do you have any left? Of course I don't. So here's what happens. The Brahmin takes off running. Dr. Worm tries his best to dig in his heels and stop it. But after a moment, you are literally being pulled along on the ground in comical Looney Tunes fashion as the Brahmin runs as fast as it can away from Draxus. And for your troubles, for your troubles, you are going to suffer two damage to your head. Two physical damage to your head. <laughs> That's just a concussion. That's a concussion. You got this. This is nuts. That's nothing. May I sprint after the Brahmin and attempt to calm it down? You may certainly do so, yes. I've well, just they... fucking... Just shoot it! Just shoot it! And well, well, they... Shoot her! <laughs> shoot her! Shoot her! That... Oh, what a great reference. Fucking Jurassic Park. Um, calm down, cow cow, Mr. Moo Moo. No, stop running. No, it's okay. Just fine. Just m moo, moo. <clears throat> and, tell it, um, tell it to stop or you'll shoot. I'll stop or I'll shoot. <laughs> I say, what's, what do you want me to roll for this? I want you to roll me one combat die. If you roll an effect, it will stop. If you do not roll an effect, it's going to keep running. I appreciate uh, odds are bad. your candor. Okay. All right, it stops running. You got an effect. It stops running, <laughs> and it stops. I, I think I think I did it. I, I fucking speak Brahmin. You know, I'm learning a lot about myself today. Also about Doctor Worm, a uh, Mister Death uh, Worm, sir. I would run over and check in. Are you okay? Is, can I get you anything? You need some some dirty water or something? Doctor Worm will stagger to his feet, probably covered in mud and swamp gook, mm -hmm. and he will. Look at uh, Nicola wordlessly. He will then look at the Brahmin and he will very slowly take out uh, the switchblade that he always carries on his person. And he will just very gently walk up to the Brahmin, like, <laughs> It's okay. You didn't know what you were doing. This is just, you're an animal. You've got animal instincts. It's fine. I don't hold it against you. And just switchblade right in the neck. Got oh my it. god, that is horrifying. Jesus. He just and I think the Brahmin twice. just falls dead. Yeah, just, just, just let it happen. Just let it happen. Just let it, happen. it was worse because he talked so so quietly. Uh, just let it happen. Okay, yeah. Let the light leave your eyes. That's good. Oh, no, now he's talking about the valley of the shadow of death. I shall fear no evil. Shut up and get the stuff. Yes, sir. Yeah. Start grabbing stuff. Yeah, so once you've got all the stuff, am I correct in assuming you're headed back home? Assuming we get everything we need, yes. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm yeah. going to roll it uh, once we come to the end of the session. I'll roll what you actually get. But you basically get the ingredients you're looking for <laughs> at this point. So as you return to Motley Heights, uh, it's at this point, it's coming to sunset. Uh, what you see is that uh, both Angela and Sam's Ray have actually managed to cobble together a large oven. Like you can see the fire illuminating the buildings as you come closer. And as you arrive, uh, Angela kind of looks at Draxus questioningly and then <clears throat> looks at the arm and kind of raises an eyebrow. Uh, whereas Sam's Ray actually walks up to Nicola T and does that like flirtatious hand on the shoulder and says, oh honey, are you all right? You look absolutely, oh, I'm absolutely not bewildered. Not a scratch on me. We got all the stuff you needed, and um, you know, I, I just want to say, it, which, you are which, real pretty. Oh, well, thank you. Would, would you like to help me cook? Would Would any of you like to help me cook? Oh, I am a great cook, but I've only got one good arm. Well, the that's still, is... still covered in in mud. No, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I he think Sam's right looks at Draxus and goes, How uh how dexterous are those claws? Oh, um, not at all. Well I <laughs> well, at least he's honest. Hey. Well, um all right. Just... I'm really more of a volume cooker. Hmm. Maybe you can slice it once it's done. Oh, I'm real good at that. Alright. Well, since none of you are helping out with the cooking, I don't get to do my Iron Chef impersonation, but that's okay. Uh, long story short, uh, after about maybe two hours of work, the scent of cooking pizza wafts through the air 
to the point that I think even the most stalwart of you is maybe salivating at the smell. It is delightful. It is like an angel has kissed your nose and has imparted the blessing of heavens itself upon your senses. And finally, after what seems like eons of waiting, the pizza is removed from the oven. Draxus, you slice a few slices for everybody. You all take a bite. And it is by far, even in life or unlife, in the case of Dr. Worm, it is the best fucking thing you have ever tasted in your life. The absolute best fucking thing ever. I'm going to look at everybody as we're all sitting around, like, eating the pizza. You know, this is really fucking good, but today was a weird day. My arm hurts. And I think Angela, just at this point, we sort of kip hand the camera over to Angela looking at Dr. Worm. And I think Angela says, are are you all right, Doc? Doc? Oh, don't, 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 don't. Did, no, did just, something just just leave him alone i'm concerned for his well-being you will speak when spoken to just like i, I know I you feel like that's pro- a little sexist no i'm just mean don't talk to him unless he talks to you it's just it's please i, I know i know you don't for, trust for, me. for me i know you don't trust me you don't think that i have anything intelligent to say but please in this moment i ask you just person to person please don't poke the bear just just let him let him sit Dr. Worm will stir a little bit. (laughs) Oh, oh, he's asleep. Oh, all right. Okay. 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 I think we're good. Well, I'm going to eat his if nobody else is going to touch it. That's on you. (laughs) Just, yeah, just going to gingerly reach over and pull his pizza. I get a second slice. That's real. That was really Actually, good. because I find it funny, Draxus, I need you to roll me an agility and athletics here. Difficulty of That's two. That's a horrible idea. I love it. But let's let's get this go. I think my agility. So my agility is not terrible. Agility and sorry, what? Athletics. Athletics. Athletics is good. We got this. In before complication. Okay, hey, you get one success. Uh, It was difficulty of two. Let me just double check to see if it's a crit. It is not. So, uh, Dr. Worm, you would feel the tugging as he tries to pull your slice slice of pizza away. Uh, You will will hear Dr. Worm snoring stop abruptly. (laughs) Which one of you Wants to meet God. I have to go. <laughs> Drax just won't get up from the table and just leave. <laughs> Can we have a comical moment where we both try to exit through the same door and get stuck for a second? Oh, oh most definitely. We have to have a scene like Oh, God, that. no, no. Just no. <laughs> and I think as Angela and Sam's are left there with Dr. Worm, I think Angela looks over at Dr. Worm and goes, you got to teach me how you do that. Like what, what, what you just did. I, I want to learn. How, how do you, how do you manage? Uh, it's pretty easy. Actually. You just don't have any kind of moral compass. Hmm. No, are you going to eat that? No. Um, well, I, I guess since they left their pizza, uh, bottoms up, I guess. I'm all for us. <laughs> And I think as we zoom out the camera from the uh, main area of the church where the table is situated, that's where we'll end today's session. (laughs) Oh, my Lord. (laughs) But yeah, what did you guys think? Uh, Honestly, I didn't think I would roll this, but I'm actually really glad that I spent the time this morning writing up this specific scenario because it instantly came into play. So that was that was a nice payoff. I, that was a beautiful like balance of us being like getting a chance to just be us because I this group obviously we have great chemistry I fucking love playing with you guys at ELH mm-hmm. obviously love playing with you like we had we had a lot of just like us being on tangents which was fun but there was also like some really com- like interesting story the pizza thing I was like this is fucking awesome I want a pizza like 
That was great, man. No, fantastic. It's exactly it's exactly the sort of offbeat quest that these this motley group would be involved in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Well, uh, so there is a record of it. Uh, let me roll your uh, loot for both a reward and for what you get off the Brahmin. So I'm going to give you guys two options. You can either take one of the Morgana items and one random uh, roll on the table, or you can have two rolls on the table. That's tempting. Mm. I mean, I'll defer to you guys, because ultimately you'll end up using most of the equipment and stuff. We have the potential through scavenging to get just about anything on that other table, and the Morgana stuff's harder to come by, so I think... Just bypassing that is probably ideal. I would yep. agree. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Yeah, I'm good with that. All right. So I'm going to let you guys decide uh, what part was on the Brahmin then. And then let me roll the table. And let's see what you got. The one with uh, the retic- ret- reticulating dingle arm. Let's I think that's see. the spatial polarizing actuator. That's the reticulating dingle arm. All right, so I'm going to say this out loud, and of course I'll go through and actually type this out, but you get some 10 millimeter, lo- 10 millimeter rounds. Uh, you get some for the 44 Magnum. You get an army helmet, which might be of Ooh. use to someone. Um, you get some Instamash and a carrot. You get a bottle of Nuka-Cola. You get a machete. You get a pipe gun. And you get a bottle cap mine. Now, because the way this works is you have two action points remaining, you can actually roll more based on how many action points you spend. So between ammunition, yeah, all of it, melee weapons, ranged weapons, thrown, where do you want to spend your two points? What do you want to roll more of? I want to, I want to propose ranged weapons because I want to get uh, the doctor a better gun. Okay. I would like a better gun. Yes, that would be nice. Do we have okay. a 44 Magnum? Because we just got ammo for it. No, I, I have the 44. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I was ammo. just waiting for ammo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got some. Oh, uh, unfortunately, that just nuked what I was, what I had saved. All right. So it's going to be slightly different than what I just said. You're good. Um, but yeah, it looks like you are able to get an Institute laser pistol if that helps you Ooh. at all. What? That's a better gun. What do I, I think ammo is a good idea? Ammo. Would okay, be so that's that's your one. Actually, let me just let's just reroll it from from scratch here. So you want one in ammo and one in ranged weapons? Yeah. For your AP. Or, that or, seems fair. Okay. All right. So whatever this roll is is what we're gonna stick with. Okay. Okay. So uh, actually, yeah, this is really good for you. Um, you actually find a combat shotgun and an auto pipe gun along with other lovely things, including a bottle of moonshine. Hey, uh, that'll work. Well, well, did we, do did we still get the 44 rounds or no, unfortunately, because I didn't write, I should have screenshot it. Cause I didn't know it would automatically change the, cause it, it rolls the moment you change something. Right. Um, so yeah. unfortunately I, I don't have anything, but I'm going to actually take a screenshot real quick and throw this in discord. Yeah. Um, so that we don't lose it. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So let's see. Throw it in Discord. And as I'm doing that, uh, yeah, at uh, at this point, hopefully uh, everybody out there in the wasteland enjoyed seeing uh, the antics that these guys got up to. Um, hopefully you had a good time. This is where we're going to end the YouTube recording. But Twitch, stick around because we're going to raid somebody. But YouTube, see you later. <laughs>